teachers are ready to go. I'll tell you what, you come and hang out with me to the intro right here. Welcome to the show, everybody. Today, it's the students and the teachers from Fairfield Township School in Cumberland County, New Jersey. And they're officially in the classroom to show the pitch students against their favorite teachers. We got the mascot ready to go. So what do you say? You want to pump that crowd up? Crowd, what's up out there? They showed up and they've been giving it all day. We got a big game on our hands. It's $500 on the line. You know what we start the show out with? You're not going to be ready for it. Pop quiz! Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. Students, you guys are smiling at me. We got a bunch of 7th and 8th graders on the show today playing their teachers. Pop quiz, you guys are always ready for it. I'm going to start it right now. Here we go. What is the name of the longest and largest coral reef system in the world? Mr. Carr. Great Barrier Reef. There he goes. Olivia Benson and Meredith Gray are the names of cats owned by what pop singer? Taylor Swift. Mrs. Mrs. Ferrari. Taylor Swift is right. Good job. What is the adverb in the following sentence? Bob was very tired. Mrs. Ferrari. Very. Very is right. There's a language arts teacher. <laughs> According to a myth, touching what amphibian will give you warts? Mr. Carr. A frog. Or a toad. Absolutely. Students, let's get you guys going right here. What state claims to be the first in flight because the Wright brothers successfully flew the first plane there? Mrs. Brogan. North Carolina. North Carolina is right. Here we go. We move on to questions two here. The Great White Way is a nickname for a section of what New York City street known as the Theater District? Mr. Carr. Broadway. Broadway is right. <laughs> In meteorology, what is the term for the sound caused by a lightning discharge? Mr. Carr again. Thunder. Thunder is right. <laughs> what is the main female character's name in the Disney Pixar movie Brave? Norlin. Merida. Merida is right. What's up, Norlin? How you doing? She feels it right. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you a little bit extra credit right here as well. This one's worth double. Let's see if you guys can go back to back here. What is the fraction for six in its simplest form? Miss Brogan. Two thirds. Two thirds is right. There's our math teacher. How many family members are mentioned in the Pink Fong song, Baby Shark? Mrs. Brogan. Three. Students for the steal, three guests. Norlin. Five. Five is right. Norlin, back to back. Good for you. That's going to do it for Pop Quiz. Teachers got, a, got the ball rolling there with 90 points. Students, 20 points on the board, but you guys are just getting hot. I can feel it right now. Hey, we have the students and teachers today from Fairfield Township School in Bridgeton, New Jersey. You saw the Jaguar open the show with me. That's their mascot. Where do you meet the players? Hi, my name is Kennedy, and the students are going to destroy the teachers. Hi, my name is Norlin Goodwin, and it's going to be a good win for the students. Hi, my name is Dave A. Nene, and I will Nene to victory. My name is Mrs. Ferrari, and I teach 7th grade language arts, and I'm bringing it full throttle today. Hi, my name is Mr. Carr. I teach 7th and 8th grade social studies. After today, my students will be history. Hi, I'm Mrs. Brogan. I teach math, the only subject that counts. <laughs> Mrs. Ferrari standing right next to Mr. Carr. You love that on the teacher side. Hey, Nora Lynn, you got the Disney question right. Are you a big Disney fan? Yes. You brought that to so the question. You were like, ah, oh, I saw you clicking away. Kennedy, how's everything going with you? Good. Hey, you you got to tell me and be honest. You're on TV right now. Have you ever had a detention at school? Don't lie. No. Do you want one today? Could be the first one ever. Are you ready for that? No. All right, well, we're playing anyway. <laughs> Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. It's like the same guy. All right, let's start with the trailing team. We are in detention. Kennedy doesn't want to go there, so let's try to keep him out of detention here. So, guys, how about this one? 
I'm gonna give you the category. You start, pass or play, and you can talk about it on Earth Science. You guys can talk about it. Do you love it? Do you hate it? If you love I mean, I think I, I think I, I think you got it. Right. Like the atmosphere and stuff. Yeah. play. You're gonna play. Here you go. Which of the three kinds of stress in Earth's crust is most common at the transform plate boundaries and occurs when two plates rub against each other as they move in opposite directions, causing rock to break, slip apart, or change in shape? We're looking for the three kinds of stress. Which one is the most common there? We can talk about it. Comprehension. Comprehension. Say it again. Comprehension? Yeah, incorrect. We are looking for shearing there, Kennedy, oh. shearing. And you guys, I heard someone say it over there. You had it. You just got the wrong one there. So teachers, you get to send one of these students to detention. Oh. Is it Kennedy, Norlin, or Daisy? Kennedy. Kennedy, man, I couldn't, I tried to keep him away from you. I tried. Kennedy, your first detention ever. How's it feel? Horrible. There it is. So he's going to be behaving in school. I'll tell you that much. Teachers, here's your next category. Social studies. Pass or play? Play. Play. <laughs> what ancient civilization was famed for being master seafarers who traded throughout the Mediterranean, spreading their 22-character alphabet as they sailed? The Phoenicians. The Phoenicians is right. Okay. Woo! Teachers, two, four, two. Woo! Is it Nora Lynn or is it Adeze that is going to detention next? Okay. I'm sorry, Nora Lynn. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be honest, I would never send her to detention. You couldn't do it. Adeze, are you feeling happy by yourself? Do you feel like no, are, you're nervous? nervous? Yeah. You know what, though? I'll tell you right now, that smile that you have on your face right now says you got this. <laughs> so here we go. Sports. I'll pass it. You're going to pass? Yeah. Not a sports, huh? Okay. Teachers, here you go. The PGA is the professional organization for what sport? Golf. Golf. Golf is going to get it done. A day that you passed on it, you have to go to detention. I'm sorry to say. And how about this? The teachers did what teachers do. And that's put students into detention. Hey, this game's just getting started. Teachers might have the lead now, but the students are going to look to claw their way back. We have art class. We have final exam. Don't go anywhere, because when we come back, this game continues. Township School in Cumberland County. Look, my man came back. He tried to take over the start of the show. My mascot, you give him a big thumbs up. Let him know you're the tiger. What, is, what, what exactly animal is he, guys? Jaguar. Jaguar. Yeah, look at the spots. I should have known. So you, you said that pretty quick. You are into this school. So you got to tell me, who's your favorite teacher playing today? Miss Farr, because she's fun. Ooh, okay. Has she been playing a good game so far? Yes. All right, do you think the students, while down right now, can come back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know they can. So what do you guys say? Let's on the count of three say, go students. One, two, three. Go students. Our class. Okay, we're in art class. You know what that means. It's time to get creative. Here's how this game works. Each team selected one player to draw. Today, I have Nora Lynn up here representing her students. The artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Now, you'll have five seconds to draw as quick as you possibly can. Teammates, you'll have 10 seconds to really talk it through and come up with a correct guess. You answer it right, it's 30 points. If you guess incorrectly, We'll give you two more tries, but the points are going to decrease with each round. So let's try to get it on that first try. Norlin, are you an artist? Yes. Oh, you are. <laughs> so hopefully you do really well today. First question, is it blue or red? Blue. Okay, you stand back here. You open that up, and you can read your card. I'm going to uncap this marker for you. Okay. I'm going to take that back. From Fairfield Township, five seconds. Go ahead. Okay, she did a good job. Ready, guys? 
Talk this through. Ten seconds. What is it? You can talk talk it out. They're deep in thought. One guess? A head. Is that a head? Incorrect. We're gonna do that again. Here we go. Five more seconds. Starts right now. You might be the best five-second draw I've ever seen. What are we looking at now, guys? Talk it out. You can discuss it. Uh, One guess, Kennedy? A picture. That is a picture, but I cannot give you the points. <laughs> We're going to give you 10 seconds to finish it up. You can add on. You can do whatever you want. Your time starts right now. So, guys, we have 10 points left up for grabs here. She's jumping back into it. You can start a whole new picture if you'd like. She's staying consistent. She is staying consistent. Stop right there. Last chance, guys. What are we looking at? Need an answer? Couldn't get it in, Nora Lynn. Do you want to tell them what it is? It's a doorknob. A doorknob. There's the door, the knob. She tried to show you the person walking in the door. Hey, let's give it up for Nora Lynn. That was excellent. Could not quite get it. So, Nora Lynn, we're going to switch you with Mr. Carr. You did a great job. And I'll tell you what, you and I are an artist. So, we're going to switch you, Mr. Carr. Nora Lynn's going to switch with Mr. Carr back there. She's all over the studio here. Here we go. You're going to look at that card. As we put. Can I grab the marker? Uh, yep. Wait. You can open that card up. It's only a 30 minute show here, Mr. Carr. You could... He still has it looked at the card. You ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you ready now? Mm -hmm. Five seconds starts right now. Okay, stop right there. I'm going to take that card out of your hand. Here we go. Wow. What is it? A glove. A glove is right, going with the Mickey glove here. Mr. Carr takes 30 points. Are you an artist in your free side? No. You're just a really good doodler. That was easy. There it is. Nice. Yeah, he you. rock and rolled on it. That's going to get him up to 160 students. I love you guys. You know what I'm going to do? I'm a teacher, and I know when students need a little extra credit. Here we go. I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the break to talk about their answer. Correct one here is 10 points. Here we go. In the children's novel Charlotte Le Charlotte's Web, what kind of animal is the character Templeton? Ooh, the audience was just saying, I don't think they might know it. Do you know the answer, though? That's the, that's the question. I'm going to give you this answer when we come back, so don't go anywhere. It's extra credit. It's on the line. Today we have students and teachers from Fairfield Township School in Cumberland County. Before the break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. In the children's novel, Charlotte's Web, what kind of animal is the character Templeton? Kennedy, you like movies? Yes. All right, well, hopefully you got this one right because it's a book and a movie. You said? Right. Rat is right. Templeton the rat, good. <laughs> Mrs. Ferrari, what was your extra credit here? We said rat. Rat is good. Excellent. Both sides get it right. Now, Kennedy, $500 is on the line for you to today. If you take home that check, that's going to be huge. First of all, it might fit in your car. Uh, what are you going to do with it? Recess. We're going to get recess equipment. Oh, nice, man. Get some really cool stuff to play on in the, in the, at the, in the playground. Do some really cool things with it. Well, every student at your school is pulling for you right now to win that money. So hopefully you guys can do that. And Mrs. Ferrari, if you guys take it home, where's that going to go? It will go into our student activity fund for all of the kids. Well, it doesn't sound yes. as fun as recess <laughs> equipment, but that would go a long way as well. I'll tell you what, the students, they want to come back. Let's give it to them. Picture day is next. You're going to need them here. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'll give you three clues, teams, one at a time. With each clue, we'll remove three of those boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify the picture, is going to win 10 points for your team. Be careful, though, if you get it wrong, your whole side is locked out while the other side can still jump in and steal those points. We have three pictures today with three clues each. Here is the first. 
Clue number one. This person has a collection with New York and company. Question, or excuse me, clue number two. She was a judge on the 14th season of America's Got Talent. Norlin. Mel B. Is that Mel B? Incorrect. Teachers, if you want to go free guess here, otherwise I'll give you another clue. Here we go. Last clue. This actress is married to Dwayne Wade. Oh my God. D. Wade, I'm telling you, Gabrielle Union and him are married. That's right. Could not get her there in picture day. Scores stay the same. We cover up an entire new picture, and I give you this first clue. It has been called many different names. Clue two, it's a popular tourist destination. Picture is coming a little bit clearer there. No answer yet. We move here. This island was the nation's busiest immigrant inspection station from 1892 to 1954. Mrs. B. Ellis Island. Is that Ellis Island? That is Ellis Island. Good job. And we have one more picture that we're going to cover up. And here's the first clue on this one. He loves hot dogs. Norlin. Goofy. Is that Goofy? Incorrect. Teacher for the steal if you'd like it. Otherwise, I'll give you another clue. Mm -mm. He has crazy eyes. Still nothing. I'm going to finish it off with this. Good luck. This orange character is the mascot for the Philadelphia Flyers. Norlin. Gritty. Is that Gritty? The Great Gritty! His second appearance on this show. He's basically a part of the family at this point. How about it? Nice job, Nora Lynn and team, getting the 40 points here. Teachers, you're at 180, but it doesn't matter because I'm giving 300 points in this next round, and we call that final exam. <laughs> Here's your topic. The topic of today's final exam is heroes. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic, and they're all going to have to do with heroes. The correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. There's a lot of points left up for grabs here. They'll answer it during the commercial break. Before we do, I'm going to give you all three teams. Here we go. Welcome to final exam. What is the full name of the Revolutionary War hero who, along with William Dawes, took a midnight ride from Boston to Lexington to warn the Patriots that the British Army was coming? In the Lego Movie 2, the second part, Emmett discovers what brainwashed superhero mowing his suburban lawn. Finally, heroes. In the popular novel, what is the last name of the mean and grumpy school principal whom George and Harold hypnotize into believing he's a superhero named Captain Underpants? Those are your heroes, okay? Each correct answer, students, you guys get right, will be 100 points. Each correct answer those teachers get right will be 100 points. Who's going to come out on top? Can the students make the greatest comeback of all time? We're going to come back and we're going to find out. Hey, I got an idea. I want your school to be on the show. So here's your official invite. You want to join me? Call me. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Fairfield Township School going head-to-head. -head. Teachers are a little bit in the lead here, but the students are a second-half squad, and hopefully they can make a comeback here in the final exam, where we learned the topic today would be all about heroes. Now, before we went to break, three questions were asked. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. Kennedy and the team over to my right is hoping they can upset their teachers here. Let's see if they did it with this first question. What is the full name of the Revolutionary War hero who, along with William Dawes, took a midnight ride from Boston to Lexington to warn the Patriots that the British were coming? A day say, you said? Paul Revere, nicely done, gets you up to 140. 
Mrs. Brogan, we go right over to you. And you said? Paul Revere. Paul Revere as well. Question two. In the Lego movie two, the second part, Emmett discovers what brainwashed superhero mowing his suburban lawn. Teachers, that's right, Mr. Carr, the game is over. You said? Batman. Incorrect. Students, you have to get this right to stay in the game. Nora Lynn, you've been hot on the Disney answers today. But do you watch Lego movie? You said? We don't know. Oh, no. The answer was Superman. The students could not come back. Teachers, $500 is going home with them. In the popular novel, The Last Name of the Mean and Grumpy School Principal, Captain Underpants, it's Benjamin Krupp. Hope you guys had a good time on the show today. Students, great job. You guys were awesome. Join us next time. We got a brand new school on the show right here on The Classroom.